based on credit ratings provided by Moody's Investor Service, 24-7 Wall Street reviewed the seven countries with credit ratings of K1 or worse. A rating of this level indicates considerable credit risk, because many of these nations have significant debt in other currencies or have otherwise weak currencies. We used foreign currency ratings and outlooks for these nations. Figures on GDP growth, inflation, unemployment, population and debt levels or estimates from the IMF's World Economic Outlook. These are the seven countries at risk of default. 7. Belarus Considered by many to be the last dictator in Europe, President Alexander Lukashenko has ruled Belarus since 1994. Part of Lukashenko's reputation likely stems from his refusal to privatize state enterprises which has discouraged foreign investment, according to the BBC. Moody's in April downgraded Belarus's sovereign debt rating to K1 from B3. Belarus is one of only seven countries with a credit rating worse than B. Ratings C and worse are associated with relatively high levels of uncertainty, and creditors can expect a 90% to 95% recovery rate, the expected percentage of principal and interest return to lenders in countries with K1 ratings. 6. Argentina Argentina's current fiscal woes can be tied back to the late 1980s. In 1989, the New York Times reported that inflation in the South American country was estimated at an annual rate of 12,000 percent. In an attempt to tame the country's hyperinflation, the government tied its currency, the peso, to the US dollar. While the peg had the desired effect and attracted foreign capital, it also hindered the Argentinian government's ability to counteract currency appreciations that made its exports more expensive relative to the rest of the world. Rather than abandon the peg, Argentina cut wages, which helped tame inflation but also drove unemployment up and tax receipts down. In 2001, Argentina defaulted on roughly $100 billion worth of debt. 5. Jamaica Still, Jamaica's consistently high debt burden coupled with high interest rates, have weakened the credit trading. Sovereign debt remained above 140% of GDP each year from 2009 through 2014, when it was third highest compared to other countries. Government debt fell slightly this year to an estimated 133% of GDP. However, this was still higher than all but three other countries. 4. Belize A small country in Central America. Belize is home to just over 360,000 people. It is one of the smallest economies in the world with a GDP of $1.8 billion. Borrowing heavily for infrastructure projects, Belize accumulated a total debt of over $540 million. In August 2012, the country's central bank announced that it would not be able to make a $23 million bond payment. Due to concerns surrounding the impending debt restructuring, Moody's downgraded the country's government bond rating to K1 from B3 in early 2012. It was later downgraded further to K only to be upgraded back to K2 in April 2013. After terms of the debt restructuring were agreed upon, Belize's credit rating has remained stable at K2 since April 2013. 3. Venezuela Between September 2014 and January 2015, all three major credit rating companies downgraded Venezuela's credit. Moody's cited plummeting fuel prices as the primary factor in the downgrade. Nearly 94% of Venezuela's export earnings come from oil. Consequently, the country's risk of default increases substantially as fuel prices drop. Crude oil went from an average of $88.42 a barrel throughout 2014 to a mere $54.03 a barrel in December of 2014. Moody's predicts that Venezuela's account balance will shift from a 2% surplus of GDP in 2014 to a deficit of 2% of GDP in 2015. Despite the series of downgrades, Central Bank President Nelson Marantz expressed optimism that the Venezuelan economy would grow in 2015. 2. Greece Greece was among the country's hardest hit by the 2008 global financial crisis, and the country eventually received several large bailouts totaling 240 billion euros. Greece defaulted on 138 billion dollars of its debt in 2012 
the largest sovereign default ever recorded. Debt restructuring following the default and a return to the international bond market last year were hopeful signs of economic recovery. However, the debt restructuring accompanied severe austerity measures at a time of already grim financial hardships for many Greek residents. Since 2012, the estimated unemployment rate in Greece has remained between 24% and 25%, among the highest in the world. 1. Ukraine Ukraine's conflict with Russia over its annexation of Crimea continues to fuel the country's financial problems. While the IMF approved Ukraine's debt restructuring plan in March, Ukraine has the worst credit rating of any country reviewed downgraded this year from Kathri to Ka, the second lowest possible level. Creditors can expect a 35% to 65% recovery rate on loans issued by the country. According to Moody's, the likelihood of a distressed exchange, and hence a default on government debt taking place, is virtually 100%.